Hey everybody, good to see you. Um, wanted to do a quick video today. Um, just got some deliveries of risers and uh, got AAA wave risers. Thank you, Red Panda. Um, and uh, also had bought some GPU risers uh, from GPURisers.com. And, uh, and then I also wanted to do a comparison against some of the older ones that I had had and, and, and basically show what the difference between uh, the different risers are that you see in the market. Um, so let's get started. All right, so here is the start of my voiceover. Um, so here's the three risers. The one that I'm picking up there is the one that um, was the one I originally started with has four capacitors. It's one of the things I looked for when I was looking for original capacity, uh, original risers. Um, some of the other risers I had looked at only came with three. So, uh, so anyway, so that's the one I started out with. Um, and you know, I haven't had any failures, so it's done really, really well. Um, and on this particular riser, it only has a PCIe, um, power. It did come with a SATA adapter, so you could use SATA or PCIe but it does not come with a Molex uh, connector. Um, on this particular one, it has the slider um, as far as the, for the uh, PCIe slot, uh, and it has a full slider. So on both sides, you can see that you can use it. Um, you can click it closed from both sides. I like to click it closed from the, um, from the, back, uh, the back plate side um <clears throat> instead you know that's why i'm pointing that out so anyway um but yeah this one definitely looked a little bit different than the other two obviously this one is a 6c design um but is very similar to the other ones in the way that they're designed um one thing i did notice is how close the capacitor is to the inductor um, so it's a little bit different than the other two um, so these are the two. So the red one or orange one is from AAA Wave, and the one I'm pointing at there is GPU risers. Um, these two actually have the exact same PCB, non-populated. So PCBA is an assembly, meaning everything's put on it. A PCB is just the board itself. So they have the same reference numbers and everything. The, the traces are all the same. So everything as far as the, the bare PCB is exactly the same. Uh, <clears throat> there are obviously a few small differences. I did notice that one of the inductors are of a slightly different um, uh, uh, spe specification. One was, I believe, 15 microhenries, and the other one is 10 microhenries. So, uh, so anyway, and then um, uh, obviously these two have the Molex, as well as having the extra PCIe. Some people like that particular uh, placement of the PCIe power connector um, as it can be easier to use with uh, splitters as it makes both uh, the PCIe on the GPU um, the same direction as the, um, as the, uh, the one on the riser. Um, as far as other differences, the clips are different. I'm pointing that out right now. Um, I like the GPU riser clip better um, because it's just easier to undo at, cut, because it'll be sitting there and it'll be open next to the back plate. So you can just push it down and it'll, and it'll snap right out. So that is definitely something I like better on the triple A wave. You have that little itty bitty side of the clip that's really hard to get a fingernail on from that side. So um, that's one of the things I don't like about the AAA wave. Uh, and I'm pointing out how small that little piece is to, to push. Um, I put one on, I have one of those actually in one of my rigs right now. And when I was putting it in, it was, it was pretty much a hassle. Um, so definitely not... Um, not very not not very easy to to lock into place unfortunately uh, <clears throat> a couple other things um where it was uh oh um the other thing i'm pointing out is that these both of these uh risers have really long leads and i'm not exactly sure why they do that the only thing i can think of is to make sure that they are rock solid in place 
Um, so if you cut them too short, it could maybe make them a little wobbly or have less solder to hold them into place. So it's definitely better um, for um, you know, with, with through hole items, uh, through hole pieces. Um, it's just easier to, um, when you leave them long, they, they hold a little bit better. Um, a couple other things that, um, that I did notice is the GPU riser has a few more pieces on it. Um, I know it's really, really hard to see, but, um, between the, uh, inductor and the capacitor. Uh, so basically you have the PCIe at the top of the boards, then you have the capacitor, then you have the inductor. Well, in, in between those two, just a little bit to the right, is a bunch of placements for small resistors and capacitors. Um, the GPU riser had some of those, had more of those items populated. The, it looked to me like the um, uh, AAA wave only had one item in those slots, while um, the GPU risers had four. So in general, um, GPU riser basically has more uh, components on it. And uh, in general, when it comes to power delivery, uh, that usually will indicate a little bit better quality, a um, little bit better buffering. Um, as far as those little uh, daughter cards are, um, they're very, very similar. Um, I really don't expect there to be much difference between the two. Uh, both look like really, really good quality. The, uh, the AAA Wave one actually had a little bit more rounding to the PCB and the GPU riser was much more squared off. Um, I also noticed the AAA wave had a little bit narrower slot between the two sets of leads, which means it probably would fit in a little bit tighter. Um, be, I'm not saying harder to put in, but it would definitely be a lot more, a little bit more snug. Um, both will be fine um, the way that they go in, um, but uh, just a little bit of a difference between the two. Um, as far as, you know, when we look at the original uh, riser I got, the cable is definitely of a smaller gauge. Um, the two newer risers have the, um, have the bigger gauge to it. So definitely higher quality. And, and that's probably one of the most important differences here is the quality of the USB cable, the gauge of the, of the USB cable. The higher the gauge, the, the better the signal uh, is going to uh, is going to propagate. So less loss, all that kind of stuff. As far as the length, they were all very similarly in length. It looks like all the risers pretty much come with a 24 inch, uh, about a 24 inch cable. There's a slight difference, slight variance, slight variance in the um, uh, in the actual cable length, but not nothing significant. Um, the other thing is that um, the blue cable actually showed the spec on it. The red cable that came with the GPU risers, there was no spec on it. I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. It's just, that's just what it was. Um, so the other thing is the size of the connectors was actually bigger on the AAA wave. Uh, I know it's probably hard to tell, but you can see that that's just a little bit longer and it's a little bit wider. Um, so I don't know if that necessarily indicates a higher quality connector, uh, but it's just what I noticed. You know, it was just a physical uh, appearance um, and could have some effect, but it's probably just a little bit different in spec. Um, you know, if you were looking for one that had a little bit more longevity to the actual connector itself, maybe that might be an important factor, but pretty much most people maybe only install it less than five times in its life. Um, you pretty much install it and it's done. Um, so anyway, uh, and USB cables have a lifetime, uh, you know, of over a thousand in insertions. Um, so it's, yeah, it's perfectly, uh, perfectly fine as long as the cable itself, that's what's really the most important piece of it. Um, uh, the other thing on each of these, they both have gold connectors on their on the risers as well, which is an indication of a little bit better signal quality. So with the, with both of these risers, you're going to do really really well. Um, um, on their websites, hold on one second. So actually, the first one I actually have up. This one is actually uh, Nerd Gears. I have up a, a number of different places that I I uh, buy from. So Nerd Gears. 
And what's interesting about this one, this one is actually a different design. This has the clip I don't like. Um, but you'll notice that um, on this one, the, the, the capacitors are a different size, look a little bit differently. Um, so, and, it, and this one doesn't match. Even though it says 9S, these uh, reference locators, some of them match, some of them don't. Um, specifically like here, <clears throat> The ones I just showed you only had the LEDs. They did not have these two resistors there. So there is a slight difference. <clears throat> Doesn't mean these are bad. Uh, just means that they're different. Um, so um, it also has a uh, silver as opposed to a gold connector. Gold connectors generally are a little bit higher uh, quality to them. So um, anyway, so that is the nerd gears and they're out of stock on them anyway but i wanted to show you just one that was a little bit different uh gpu risers um as i showed you um they have been struggling to keep in stock i just got the shipment um they're going to be getting more in towards the end of march and catching up um so um but if you need some right away AAA wave does show that they have over 2000 in stock in fact let me do a quick refresh on this um still shows over 2000 in stock so um if you need risers this is going to be where you're going to get them quicker um and i've ordered um other things from AAA wave and been very very happy with them other place that i also order from is parallel miner now this one from parallel miner is the old design um so this is a um a 6 uh c riser and I don't necessarily mean, think that means it's a bad riser. Um, now it does have silver instead of a gold connector. So if that ma if you think that matters, then um, you may want to stick with the AAA wave. But um, it does have the preferred, my preferred uh, connector where it's easier to get things uh, in and out uh, and click them into place um, than the one that comes from AAA wave. So um, at any rate, uh, those are the other options, and like I said, Parallel Miner does, uh, last time I checked, they have 92 in stock, so they are running out. In fact, let me do a quick refresh since I brought this. They're now down to 80 in stock, so things are going fast, but had a lot of really good luck ordering from Parallel Miner. In fact, all of these that I had uh, brought up, I've had good luck. Uh, Nerd Gears has had some challenges keeping things uh, in stock. They're doing, I know that they're working hard. Um, to get things back in stock as often as possible. But, um, uh, but for right now, as, as of the making of this, um, you have Parallel Miner and AAA Wave with things in stock that you can have shipped. Um, you know, now, GPU risers, if you can wait a little bit longer, that would be my preferred uh, riser to get. But it is going to take, take a little bit longer. It's probably the reason why you got to wait a little bit is because they are very, very popular. Um, and, uh, and Vistain gives great support. So uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of the differences between the two, um, between the, the couple of different risers and what to look for. Um, you'll definitely notice those that you get on Amazon are gonna have that thinner cable. They're gonna basically try to cheap out on things. Um, this is the reason why I now make sure that I get things from either GPU risers, AAA Wave, or uh parallel miner oh i should also point out on the um you can tell that this is the more robust cable in fact if i really zoomed in you can see that this actually has the same writing as the AAA wave um it's just a black cable instead of a blue cable so this does have the better um uh, higher gauge uh cable that you really really want when you're looking for a riser so hopefully that helps you out there and uh if you have any questions leave uh it in the comments and i will do my best to get them answered as quickly as possible if you like the content please hit like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one